Well, new Houston Mayor John Whitmire is hearing from constituents about the challenge of managing the city's homeless population. And there's a lot to consider. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska joining us now live. Tom, some of the businesses in Midtown say that they're forced to deal with this every day. They are. They have, they have a compelling story to tell. Looking at the simple numbers, there's every indication that the incidence of homelessness is down in Houston by more than half since 2011. But in some sections of town, it's hard to see. As the light rail runs down Main Street through Midtown, some of the passing scenery can look rough around the edges, and with it, some of the people watching it go by. Everybody talked about these oasises that would pop up along the light rail with this new thing that Houston had to offer, and um, that has not really been the case. Sharon Haynes opened Tacos A Go Go here 18 years ago. While there's always been a transient population that made up part of the neighborhood, she says it has gotten worse and more aggressive in recent years as drug buying and panhandling are more pervasive. So far, it's a problem that falls outside typical assistance programs. This is a population that has addiction issues and mental health issues, and so, you know, they don't want help, and so it's a very different situation here and much harder to handle. The effect for businesses is that fewer people seem willing to venture into the neighborhood to eat and drink, leaving financial margins sometimes uncomfortably tight. Since the problem does not usually warrant a police response, a number of the businesses have an ongoing group chat alerting each other of trouble so they can be more aware. But as other cities have been faced with similar problems, there is frustration that Houston has been unable to avoid it. How can a city be proud of itself with the way that it is not dealing with this population of people that need help? In a call late this afternoon, the Houston Coalition for the Homeless tells me the city's unsheltered homeless population is decreasing with results from the latest count expected just a couple of months from now. But panhandling and drug use is a separate law enforcement issue. We are told the Midtown Management District, which collects money from area businesses there, is working on paying for extra law enforcement presence to help make the neighborhood more secure. Well, hopefully those efforts will make the whole situation a lot better. They remain hopeful. All right, Tom, mm -hmm. thank you.